Hello YouTube, my name is Jason and this is Lineware. Today I am going to be teaching you about generics. Um, and we're not going to finish this tutorial in just uh, one tutorial, so this is probably going to take up like four or five tutorials because I'm going to try to get as much in depth with generics as I can because we're going to be using generics whenever we get into collections. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to set an object. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how generics um, come in handy. And by doing this, I'm going to create an object. And the reason I'm creating an object is because you could stick practically anything you want inside of an object without getting an error on it. So let's go ahead and just call this a zero. We'll just call that one zero. We're not going to give it a value. We're going to set some... Uh, getters and setters for them and you could do this by just coming into the zero and pressing control one and it'll give you the option to create your getters and setters for zero and just when this comes up click OK and there we go now we have our getters and setters it has everything set up for us we don't have to write any of that saved us a good minute now we need to create a something object so we're going to just call this object one and make it equal to new something. Just creating a simple new object like we always do and then we need to set a value to um, zero. So let's go ahead and set a value to zero and the way we do this is we go object one dot set zero and we can pretty much pass whatever we want into this set zero. That's spell that wrong. Um, I have a oh no. Why are you giving me that error? Let's see. Ten. But we're gonna set a new integer because we want it to be an integer object inside of here so let's go ahead and do an integer object now we have this integer object set into it the next thing we need to do is we need to we need to get it right so what we would do is we would say integer uh, object 2 and make this equal to a integer because we want it to be an integer whenever it comes back so we're going to just cast an integer for it and we're going to say um, object one dot get zero and then just close that up and now this object two is equal to zero so now we just want to print it out on the screen okay system And we're just going to print out object 2 on the screen. And we shouldn't get any errors based off of this code. So let me just go ahead and say creating object 1, setting value to 0 and making object 2 equal to 0. So that's what we did based off of that. And right now we're just going to print print 0 on the screen. Okay, so I just commented that so you knew what we were doing. Uh, from right here because this is what really matters right now we're going to be using this object right here a little later so we're just going to leave that be as is so whenever we print this out on the screen we get 10 right here it has this new text but it compiled correctly and we get 10 because we passed 10 into it and all that stuff now let's say that yes I programmed this but a programmer comes in behind you and he says string he wants to create a he wants to take this as a string and then he wants to set it as a string he wants to replace it with a string as you can see no errors coming up on the screen this is where generics really comes in right here no errors no nothing because of course you can stick a string into an object you can stick a 
integer into an object and as you can see we threw an integer to this object and now we're going to send it back and whenever we print this there's the error this is what we call a runtime error what you usually get are them compile errors so if I went in here and I just deleted say one letter right here that would cause a compile error meaning it doesn't know what's happening but whenever we do this now we get this runtime error this compiled just so you want to if you want to know it compiled and there's going to be a problem with the program if you have like 1500 pages of a uh, program and this one little error you gotta go through all of your program to find out why it's not running and this is where generics is key same and the way you create a generics is we're going to just come right down here and we're going to go ahead and create our generics. And the way you create a generics, I know you've seen this looking at code. This right here is how you create a generics. Um, this T means type. And you could put integer and all that stuff in here too, but this is just an, an imaginary like object. It, it's weird. It's hard to, for me to explain, but... I know how it works and that's all that matters so let's go ahead and we're gonna replace all of these objects with T it's like we're creating our own little variable so we need to create take all these objects and we need to change them to T and this one also needs to be changed to T so now we have all these and now there are this imaginary variable named T and when we create something object now we have to put this uh, we have to put a value inside of here and what we want to put is we want to put a one of them like string or integer what we're going to do is we're going to put integer in here and if you notice we get a couple little errors in here and we need to put integer right here so all of this is right, but this right here is getting an error because it's it's getting a compile time error. What it did was it changed it from a runtime error to a compile time error. So now it won't ever compile, and now you can pretty much find where the error is. So if a programmer comes in behind you and he tries to put this little line of code in your code, he can't do it because you have it set up to be a integer only value getting shot over to uh, something and it's not just that if I could create another object I could say something and then make it a string right here and then just say object 4 equals new something and put string right here and we're all peachy king but I didn't. I put it right here as a integer. So now these have to be an integer for it to run. And if we look at the error itself, it says cannot cache from integer to string. And it can't. So let's go ahead and let's change this to an integer. And we're going to change this to an integer. And our error leaves. And that's why we use one of the reasons we use generics because generics solves that problem right there and it makes it where we don't have to go through a hundred thousand lines of code to find where the error was because we use generics and that other programmer who came in and wrote this line of code kept getting an error until he found out hey I have to throw an integer in here or it's not gonna run at all so whenever we run it, now we get exactly what we want. So that is the beginning of generics and the end of this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching. My name's Jason. This was Lineware. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.